Okay, so the results after 24 hours are in. By the way, if this doesn't make any sense to you, please make sure that you watch the first and the second part of this video as well. Anyway, the call that has been next to my computer averaged to 62 counts per minute yesterday and today it averaged to 60 counts per minute which is, um, well, pretty much due to randomness, so that's kind of normal. And the coal that has been with the uranium ore had 260 counts per minute yesterday and today it averaged to 60 counts per minute. The coal that has been with the radium watch hands had 841 counts per minute yesterday and today it averaged to 60 counts per minute as well. You can see over 10 minutes it had 604 counts versus 597 counts of the stuff that's been with the uranium ore and 600 counts from the coal that has been next to my computer. So um, it's all equal now. The radioactivity has dropped dramatically to about background levels. And if we look at the decay chain again, you probably remember radon is the stuff that got absorbed by our coal. Then there were all those short-lived uh, daughter nucleates. And it all decayed into lead 2 and a 10 now, which has a half-time of 22 years. So there are indeed some of those radioactive lead atoms in there. But the half-time is just so high, it's not possible to distinguish it from background radiation, I guess. If you were in a room with no radiation at all, I guess you could still measure it, but like this, it's not possible. So yeah, that's kind of kind of cool because it proves my theory is absolutely correct. It was radon and the uh, daughter nucleus of radon that made the coal so radioactive yesterday. And now there's just some lead left.